I've been working on building my own mining farm for years. And over the last year, I entered what I consider like the final phase of my mining farm deployment, right? It, as I slowly work towards building my dream of mining farm to mine Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, earning passive income, and just basically deploying a fleet of robotic employees. But I, to be frank, I, I've just been getting my ass kicked. Uh, you know, I, I made some progress, I had some dubs, and once again, Watch when we walk in here. It's actually really not that loud right now because half of my miners are offline. Why? Oh, because I got another electrical issue. And it's just, it's so, so frustrating. Right, and, and I got freaking weeds growing everywhere. And, and Alexa's been telling me to get a handle on the weeds for months. So I've just been focused on other things. Uh, but I mean, it's just, they're not even weeds anymore. I have like, freaking huge plants in the gravel that I've got to deal with and I'm just like ah, like the, the things th to do keep adding up and I'm losing so much money per day because I have so much hardware that's just down right now I mean I'm talking triple digits in losses every single day over what I'm supposed to be mining and I've bought the hardware, I've paid for the infrastructure like to do all this. I mean, my name is Drew Vosk, you're on the Vosk on YouTube channel. And let me step behind the computer and just really break down like what's gone wrong and, and maybe if you're doing something like this, you know, you can learn from this and maybe you just tune in to support the channel or, or you enjoy the content or, or even, you know, to, to laugh at me. That, that, that's fine, you know, the saga continues. Uh, there's ups and downs, and I, I can assure you that that I am down. I, I am down right now, and I'm I'm not even just sad. I'm, I'm like pissed. This is the mining shed, which I had all wired up for my initial plans and deployment, but I never finished it because then I got the pod and I got fixated on that, and now the pod's giving me trouble. And I'm just like, God, I just, I, I guess I should have been working them more in tandem. And it's just, it, it's a, it's a mistake. It's an oversight. You know, I go over to the, we call it the field building, Vosquin HQ. It's basically like been functioning like a warehouse. I've got some big dreams for it long term. Uh, but I mean, that's not really set up to run gear either. And I've been running my hard drive uh, mining operation in the upper level. And I mean, it's just, it's a furnace in there. Uh, cause I don't have the HVAC set up, which is why I'm going to put the hard drive mining set here, uh, and get that cooled and everything. But it's just like, I'm, I'm so frustrated. It's just a lot more involved than you think. And also God, pavement is so much more incredible than gravel, especially this 57 weeds can just like really take over the 57. Cause basically there's just a lot of gaps in the rock as opposed to something like 21 a, uh, which is much more like fine and sandy and compact, but running the numbers, right? Like how much statistically am I getting my ass kicked right now? How much money am I losing every day from the hardware I have that I am not operating? So this isn't even all the gear. This is just like a quick snapshot to kind of uh, really explain this. And then, you know what? You know what? Let, let, let me get out of the way. So as you see here, right? Here's 17 miners synced up on my nice hash address. These aren't all of the mining rigs I have, but you know, for reference, here's 17, right? Here's 10 when one half of my farm goes down. I also have my more profitable mining rigs on the side of the pod that keeps going down. That wasn't on purpose. That's just kind of the way it worked out. I pretty much just uh, put almost entirely Bitcoin miners on, uh, on one side there. So, I mean, this is really frustrating, right? Because not only do I have more hardware than I have electrical capacity for uh, with the pod right now, I really kind of supercharged my mining farm uh, when I was given a unique opportunity to buy 10 miners from a local Bitcoin miner. Uh, so that really took me from here to here. And I hadn't ironed out my 
uh, immersion mining farm plans. I had an ironed out an additional air cooled mining farm plan. Um, and I'm just like really dealing with a lot of hurdles right now. Again, I'm still operating on single phase electricity. Uh, the electric company is just saying that right now I'm not drawing enough power for them to bring three phase electricity out for me and also not charge me to do it. And I'll be damned if they charge me to build their infrastructure just to bill me in perpetuity for using it. Okay, uh, if you're a subscriber of the Bosscoin YouTube channel, which I sincerely hope you are, uh, you may know that my end game is solar. Yep, absolutely. But I'm just not quite there yet. I need to build out my mining farm and work out the bugs and just have something that's awesome and operational and then swap out my power source to just basically self-generating or generate electricity to offset my electricity bills. It really depends like how it totally plays out and, and how I want to go about it. And when it comes to the actual digital shovel M300 mini pod, I don't want to throw a bunch of shade on them or anything, right? Um, I've reached out to Scott a couple times to help with the problem. One of the issues I may have is the fact that I'm using a 208 voltage version of their uh, PDU which was a new product and it basically kind of came and went. I don't think they really sold many uh, pods with that configuration. They had a different PDU used uh, for their 415 voltage or you could just consider their normal three phase mining pods and they are now developing a PDU that can do single phase and three phase electricity that is supposed to replace all of these. Uh, so I think really just there's two PDUs in there and I think one is failing. I, I may be wrong, I still haven't totally figured it out, but I keep taking miners off of that PDU and it just keeps tripping, it just keeps failing. Uh, so the next thing I'm gonna go do is take an additional miner off it and see if that fixes the problem. But uh, you know, I've reset it over seven times in one day, trying different configurations, trying uh, you know different problem solving uh, here. And uh, it's it's just you know frustrating, and it's not an easy like when you just use like standalone PDUs plugged into your electric service, you, you can swap those out. I mean, PDUs are a piece of equipment; they will probably fail eventually. Uh, in my old mining shed, I had four PDUs, and I learned that three were awesome, and one was kind of weak. One was very likely to trip um, once I got you know around like. 70% capacity of uh, you know how much electricity you can pull through that. I wonder if this is a similar situation. Uh, what's weird is that it ran fine for a while, and basically as I approach capacity, um, it just kind of seems to be letting go. When it comes to the PDUs in particular in here, I made a point to balance the phases. The wattage looks really high because of basically the way that mine's configured. Uh, it reads double the wattage, right? We got hot, hot, neutral here, and uh, it reads double the wattage that's actually being pulled here. And uh, the third phase is unusable. I can only deploy miners on phase one and two, you know, as this reads from the digital uh, shovel dashboard there. Uh, to put this into perspective, like I'm losing about $150 a day uh, in coins I would be mining because of this. And I don't have any other infrastructure set up to deploy these miners properly right now. Uh, I mean, it's, it's frustrating. It, it almost makes you think like, do I need a backup facility? Right, but, but how much is that worth? And at what point am I just like, you know, either not, not necessarily pissing money away, but like, I don't want to just keep throwing money at this project like I need to make money and I need to recoup my investment and then hopefully you know run a profitable business uh, you know as it stands I have a, a bigger investments in mining infrastructure and mining rigs than I do the actual coin that I'm earning the scary thing the elephant in the room is the Bitcoin having per nice hash it says it's 229 days away the other calculators show 269 and 260 here but the bottom line is is that Bitcoin will be halved in less than a year no matter who you ask and uh, that's going to cut Bitcoin mining profitability in half and if nothing else changed then well there's 30 million mined today and there'll be 15 million mined then I'm mining Dogecoin, Litecoin, I'm also mining Caspa, Chia, I'm mining Dash, 
I've got some Equihash mining like Zcash going on and um, a few other mining rigs you know when it comes to these ASIC miners out there uh, deployed as well I've been working very heavily on the hard drive mining shed uh, right now I've got three hard drive miners I've got a few more hard drive miners on the way uh, but this equates to basically I've got, got like 30 hard drives and I'm hoping to you know fingers crossed have about a hundred hard drives deployed by the end of the month but I need to get the hard drive mining shed set up I've been talking about it on this thread on boss coin talk I've made some other uh, videos uh, here on the channel as well but basically I built a dedicated shed entirely for the reason to have a climate controlled setup hard drives are more sensitive uh, they run really efficient when they start to get really hot it leads to more failure you need to be able to control vibrations there's a, there's a lot of things that I'm learning as I really kind of you know dig deep into hard drive mining which ultimately is more like building your own mini data center which is why I make the you know fun joke and play on converting a shed into a hard drive mining data center uh, so this will allow me to deploy this gear in a safe and clean environment uh, you don't want these things getting filthy again it's gonna lead to more heat more failures uh, so I'm only gonna just do clean low power hard drive mining in here hard drive miner or chia farmer here in this case with about 10 uh, hard drives uh, depending on your configuration like if you're using the evergreen miner and their starter uh, pro kit which you talked about support your boy with the link use the coupon code boss going to save some coin hey, look i'm on the home page let's go uh, you know shameless plug right uh but they just added compression you get 20 percent more space for the same price that leads to literally 20 percent more performance which means 20 percent more profitability uh but my main point here is they have their starter kit pro and this consumes about 100 watts that's like a whole lot of nothing right a bitmain ant miner bitcoin miner which is the leading btc mining rig it consumes over 3,000 watts i could run 30 of these okay for the same electrical footprint and uh let's just just bump that math out right the cost for that would be a cool ninety thousand dollars Obviously, you can DIY Chia Miners too. This isn't about that conversation. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, I'm pursuing this and I'm here to mine today, tomorrow, next month, and in five years. And I'm still paying around 10 cents per kilowatt hour for electricity until I can figure out a three phase deployment, which will bump me to a commercial rate. Uh, the bottom line is that this just makes a lot of sense for me and, and actually a lot of other people based on your, your potentially high electricity prices. Bad gets worse. Caspa mining revenue is dropping fast, faster than I thought it would. Uh, I actually have just yesterday found out that Ice River is shipping much more than just their KS0, the KS1, the KS2, the KS3L, uh, all these confusing model names, which are basically just bigger, badder, more powerful Caspa miners. They're not necessarily much more efficient, but they're bringing a lot of hash rate to the network. Uh, which means there's more people trying to eat the same Casper mining reward pie. Uh, but you can see a substantial drop here going from about 650 a day uh, just a week ago to the last couple of days it pulled 550. There hasn't been downtime other than, you know, maybe what Starlink has caused me uh, due to not the best connection. And I'll be moving off Starlink here shortly. Uh, but the bottom line is, okay. 650 a day when I ran the initial numbers was about 25 bucks a day. I wish, right? So it's still about 25 bucks a day. But if you go to 550, you're looking at $21. I mean, that's a substantial loss of $4 of coin per day. But keep in mind, this mining rig is like about a thousand dollars i'll drop some options for grabbing this mine and other miners down below if you want one uh but some people think that these just uh aren't gonna be all that lucrative unless you got a batch one or batch two i think technically mine's batch two or just part of the batch one i got a little bit later uh i view caspa mining is very very risky because it's it's a blooming ecosystem it's gonna be much like uh I don't know if that was subconsciously a Pikmin reference. Your boy's been playing uh, Pikmin 4, and uh, great game. If you liked the other Pikmin, you, you love this one. Uh, yeah, it, it's a fantastic game, but it should be criminal. that We we need to note that they left off the co-op, couch co-op multiplayer that they put into Pikmin 3 Deluxe, which they released on the Switch. That was an incredible couch co-op. A lot of fun. 
Uh, and uh, Alexa and I, Ms. Moss, really enjoyed playing that together. Whereas in Pikmin 4, they just did like that stupid, like, you know, baby brother co-op where like all they do is throw pebbles at the monsters and like you don't actually get to play the game. So that's, don't, don't even, but don't even put that in the game. That's not co-op. Maybe one day they'll right their wrongs, but it's not today. Overall, I just kind of feel like I'm getting my ass kicked on the mining front. It's frustrating, right? You know, I, I need to clean up, uh, you know, my, my buildings, my filters need to be changed. I clearly need more infrastructure deployed to be able to run these miners. The existing infrastructure is not uh, hosting or, you know, running the miners at capacity that, that I planned around and, and really just need it to. I'm losing a lot of money per day. Uh, the bull market gets closer every day. I firmly believe that. This is the time to stack coins, run gear, and get everything set up. And I just feel like I'm, I'm like spinning in circles, right? It's like, uh, you know, I'm a car and my tire fell off. And I'm still driving, but things are just kind of getting jacked up and I'm not really going anywhere, at least not as fast as I wanted to be. Um, again, you know, on the hard drive mining front, I'm making progress there. I'm not discouraged on that front, but like, it's definitely like a, you know, a pressure here, like on my shoulders of like, go, 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 get this done, scale, get these things deployed and stack some freaking coin before it's too late. Um, you know, obviously I'm excited to mine in a bull run and all that stuff. Hopefully we get one of those again and it's, you know, crazy like the last couple, but basically as it stands, I, it's just, it's a lot of days where I feel like the juice isn't worth the squeeze and I'm not trying to crap talk mining. A lot of these problems are, you know, unique to me or my own problems or, you know, whatever else. Uh, but between like the maintenance, the upkeep and the problems and the problem solving and just the general like design and deployment. I love this stuff and, and I do enjoy it many days, but you know recently it's just been like really frustrating and I just kind of feel like I'm taking L's a lot of losses and You know, I, I, I just got to pick up the pieces and, and, and keep running But I've just you know, I've just taken some serious L's over the last year, especially and my ability to rebound the magnitude of stress that adds up over time I just feel like my capabilities are diminished and it, and it just kind of sucks. I don't want to sound like I'm crying or defeated, but I'm just like, I'm just frustrated and I'm just like ready for like things to smooth out and, and relax. And I just, I just thought I'd be there by now and I'm just not. And that's just, it's not like I haven't put some time in, uh, at least in my opinion. So. Uh, and that's that's what I got. I mean, that that's the, the update. You know, not every update's a good update, and that's an honest update. So, hey, thanks for watching. My name is Vosk, Drew Vosk. You're on the Vosk on YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos and tell your friends that mining sucks and this guy's an idiot. I don't care. You know, honestly, if you share the video, that's fine. Uh, so, but I mean, if you don't say that, that'd be nice. Appreciate it. Um, but uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video as well. And, and I hope it's a better video. I, I, I know I'll be excited. You know, I'll, I'll get that, that instant gratification rush when when the hard drive mining shed shows up. It's actually supposed to show up tomorrow, so uh, it'll be a busy and climactic day, and also really motivate me to get these dang weeds under control. I've seen you guys in the comments for a while. It's just you know, at some point, some things just kind of go by the wayside. I, I can't. I can't do the job of 100 people, and I can only do the job of 10 people for so many days in a row. So, I don't know. I don't know. But I do know, I'm not done. I'm not quitting. And I hope you never do either.